So the last part that we're in need to attach is the uh, canopy. Now for this part uh, you can't use super glue as if you use it the gases will fog up the clear plastic and that would be bad. So you need to use something that's a little um, uh, what's what I'm looking for something that's a little more gentle on it. So I, I'm going to be using uh, micro scales micro crystal clear. Um, it's a water soluble uh, glue. Um, you can also use white glue. You know, you just your cheapo um, like Elmer's school glue. Uh, personally, though, I haven't had much luck using the stuff. So yeah. Now, for this, we're going to take our campy piece, um, and you're just going to dip a brush in, brush all the excess, and you're just going to apply it around the edges where it's going to attach. Now, since we painted some of these areas, we're not going to not too concerned about excess. Okay, just a little more. Okay, set that down for a second. Now, okay. Alright, now just gonna attach it, set it down. Now you may also want to keep some um, water handy so you can do any cleanup that you might need to do. But it doesn't look like I'm going to need to. And what's nice about this stuff and white glue is that it dries clear, so um, excess isn't a major, major factor, but is something to consider. So I'm gonna just let that cure up for now. And yeah, then all that's left is, well, actually I might as well just go ahead and stick that on since I don't need to glue it because fortunately it wants to stick on its own. Okay. about that. There. And there we go. That's it. So yeah, uh, that's done. And so, yeah, I guess that'll be it for now. Um, I'm gonna let this dry up and then I'll come back and make a few final comments. So here we have the finished model. The Tommy, a 148th scale Meteor, and the 148th scale V1. Um, if you look at them both, I, I can't, I'm not sure how well it'll come out on the video, but uh, I painted this with a semi-gloss over a gloss coat, so it's a little shinier and than the um, V1, which I did a flat coat under a semi-gloss. So you can hopefully kind of see the difference between the two finishes. Again, that's something uh, you can basically play with um, to ultimately get the kind of finish you want. But again, that's something at in the end of the day you need to play with. Um, overall, they're both really good kits. Um, they're simple, easy to build, yet still have a lot of detail. Uh, one bit of note, though, I, if I were to build this again, I would put a little bit more weight in the nose, as the meteor is still somewhat tail-heavy. It still does want to sit up back, as the weight that's included does help a lot, but at the end of the day, it really should be a little more forward to get the most use out of it. So, uh, just add a little bit of nose weight to the nose, and that should take care of that problem. Uh, the V1 just pretty much slapped together. It, no real problems there. It's simple, easy, 
and I bought these as a box set from Hobby Link Japan, which they actually still do have it on sale for uh, 1800 yen, which more or less or it's over to about 20 bucks US. So uh, it's a really good deal, and as I said, uh, it's a good beginner model as it really lets you gives you a simple, easy to build kit. Um, one bit of note um, on actually on earlier uh, issuings of the Meteor F1, um, Tamiya screwed up and had a different sort of wing on it that's applicable to later versions of the aircraft, which include a speed brake. Um, this boxing it has the correction without the speed brake, so that just something to note and watch out for when, if you're shopping for this, as the older box, original boxings do have that inaccuracy, but uh, overall it's a it's a good kit, and you know, it's typical Tommy a quality, you know, they're one of the biggest, if not the biggest mall kit manufacturer in the world, so, I mean, you definitely get, a, it's a good deal, especially with the Hobby Link sale, as I mentioned, but, uh, yeah, um, definitely a lot of potential with the kit, um, Obviously, if you want to get into aftermarket details, there's a lot of space for that to basically up the detail on the kit. But yeah, uh, that's about all I can say about it. Overall, it's you should find it a fairly simple and easy build kit. Um, yeah, I really can't think of anything else to say. Um, aside from also, it's also nice that the give you the options to show off the engines and because it also includes clear parts for, and that replace these but I chose to just go with these instead Let me get that back on there we go good enough but yeah as I said it's a it's a good beginner kit and I would highly recommend it so hopefully uh, you learned something from this tutorial set and yeah Hopefully, next set we'll do more detailed. So, uh, till then.